Hi there, we're going to revisit systems of equations, what we did actually last year in grade 10, uh, except we're going to add a little twist of doing some quadratics with systems of equations. So first let's just do a little bit of review. The uh, solution set for a system of equations is all the ordered pairs, by the way that's another way of saying points the ordered pairs that satisfy all equations of the system. So it has to be a point or an ordered pair that satisfies each of the two equations in the system. So for example, uh, the point 2, 4 is a solution for this system here, y equals x plus 2 and y equals x squared. That's because the coordinates x equals 2 and y equals 4 satisfy both equations. Here's what, here's what we can do. We can check that. In the first equation, well, y equals x plus 2. Boy, I can't write to save my life. Okay, and now we'll replace y with 4 and x with 2. And hey, of course that checks out. Excellent. Uh, in the second equation, we have y equals x squared. And again, I could plug this in. Oh, let's see, I hope it works. 4 equals 2 squared, uh, therefore 4 equals 4. And again, yay, miraculously it checks out. So therefore, this point, 2, 4, is a solution to the system. And by the way, there's a second solution, and I'd like to challenge you on your own time here to try and find the other solution. Okay, moving on. If we want to solve a system of equations, we have three methods that we can use. First, we can graph the two uh, lines or the two parabolas or whatever is given. We can graph the two functions. Uh, second thing we can do is do things by uh, algebra, and there's two algebraic methods. There's the elimination method. Also, you may have heard it as the addition subtraction. And then there's the substitution method. Okay, I want to practice all three in this review by looking at linear systems. So here's example number one, and we're just asked to solve this system. 2x plus 3y equals 9, and x minus y equals 2. Okay, so graphically, uh, let's see, how can I do this? Well, I'll start off in blue and graph uh, the line 2x plus 3y equals 9. Uh, maybe I'll do that uh, by finding the intercepts. So the x-intercept is when y equals 0. So if y equals 0, uh, x is going to equal, well, let's see, 2x equals 9, and so x equals 4.5. Okay, so somewhere on my graph here, just really roughly, since I control this, I'll just put a 4.5 right there. It's so easy when you're in charge. Okay, next, what if x equals zero? Well, if x equals zero, we have three y equals nine, and therefore y is equal to three. Okay, so I'll put another point here at y equals three. Again, I'll write down my scale. Maybe I'll call that an x and a y for the axes, and I'll connect the lines Okay, ta -da. hopefully I'll have a ruler when I'm doing this on your page. I'm using like this kind of really cheap dollar store pen here for this, and it just looks worse and worse the more I draw. Oh well, luckily you aren't subjected to this kind of limitation, and you can do a much better job. And in fact, I expect that from you. Okay. Uh, what about the other line? X minus 2 equals, or X minus Y equals 2. Uh, I think by inspection, you may be able to see that the X intercept is 2. And the Y intercept is negative 2. Okay. To find those intercepts, I simply set X equals 0 to find the Y intercept. And Y equals 0 help me find the X intercept. Graphing, I get this, and so, hey look, 
the two lines meet at a certain point here, okay? And the solution is the x and y values for that point. Uh, okay, uh, oof, where are they exactly? Well, I find this difficult here. If, if I had done a better job of graphing, I'd be able to tell you exactly where they are. I've got some limitations, though, on the work that I've just done. It's really sloppy graphing that I've done. I didn't use a ruler. So it's really tough for us to picture exactly where this is. Now, you might say, uh, it looks like x equals 3 and y equals 1. But, you know, your graph is only so good. So let's turn to other methods then. Instead of doing this whole graphical deal, I could have used something called elimination or something called substitution. So let's do elimination first. For elimination, you rewrite the two equations together, but you set them up so that when they are added together, the result is that a variable is eliminated. So this is the first equation. Equation number one was 2x plus 3y equals 9. Equation 2, I'm going to take equation 2 and multiply it by 3. That is, I'm going to multiply everything in equation 2 by 3. That gives me 3 times x, which is 3x, 3 times negative y, which is negative 3y, and 3 times 2, which is 6. Now, why did I do that? Well, if I add what's given here, things are going to fall into place. 2x plus 3x is 5x. 3y plus minus 3y, hey, y's are eliminated. That's where the name comes from. And that's equal to 9 plus 6, which is 15. Dividing by 5, you get x equals 3. Now, to complete the problem, sub substitute x equals 3 into one of the two equations to find y. Okay, so we substitute maybe into the second equation, and we get 3 minus y equals 2. And a little bit of work later, we would find that y equals 1. So my solution by elimination is, well, 3, 1 which is good because that's exactly what we had on the graph. They should match. Okay, finally, substitution. Substitution is a method by which you isolate a variable and then use that isolated variable in the other equation. So in equation number two, uh, I have x minus y equals two. In other words, by adding y to both sides, I get x equals 2 plus y. In other words, this 2 plus y is exactly identical to x. Okay, that's what equals means. So in my first equation now, I had 2x plus 3y equals 9. Hey, x is this, 2 plus y. Okay, and now I have a single variable and I can solve. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times y is 2y, 3 times y is 3y, and 9 is 9. Putting everything together here, I get 5y. Subtracting 4 off both sides, I get 5. And therefore, y is equal to 1. Well, guess what? You still need to plug that y equals 1 into an equation, and guess what you're going to get for x? Well, the same, same results. And so we end up with the same conclusion, 3 comma 1 as our solution. Okay, uh, this is practice here that I'd like you to bring to class uh, and show me your work for. So there's two different systems here for you, you to work on, uh, uh, as you see on the page. And I'd like you to solve using all three methods. Okay, so by graphing, well, graph the two lines and see what happens. For elimination, line up the two equations so that when you add them or subtract one equation from the other, a variable is eliminated. Or finally, use substitution. Isolate a variable 
and substitute into the other equation. Okay, good luck with that. Hopefully I'm going to see some good work and hopefully your three different methods all match each other.